Alright guys, I am back with my review of Total Divas Episode 8. No Longer the Bridesmaid. And this one starts off with Natalia planning her wedding. We get a cameo from Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Um, and then John Cena asks Nikki Bella to go with him to meet his family. They're having a big family reunion. They're all going to be there. The only problem is it's the same day as Natalia's wedding. So Nikki has to tell Natalia she can't make her wedding. Natalia gets all upset about this. Meanwhile, Eva Marie gets chosen to be a valet for Natalia. It's for a main event or something like that. And JoJo is all jealous again. So Eva Marie just calls her out on her bullshit. And JoJo's like, well, it's a competition. Well, if it's a competition, you fucking lose. Because <laughs> you haven't got picked to do shit. Except that one thing where you sang a song and it was freaking terrible. You sucked. Um, so then what happens? Oh, so Naomi gets a call from Arion. And she's having stomach problems. <laughs> so she runs to her hotel room. She's complaining about her stomach hurting. So Naomi calls the ambulance. And they come and pick her up and take her to the hospital. These divas are dropping like flies. I don't know what's going on here. It's probably a curse Vincent put on her. So it's time for the big wedding. And you got a lot of cameos here. Damian Sandow, which was awesome. Hornswoggle. I think Harry Smith was one of the groomsmen. And I believe I saw Trent Beretta there too. Um, but before the wedding, Jarrett shows up. And he tells Tyson Kidd about keeping in contact with Natalia. Tyson Kidd gets pissed off, but they work things out. They end up getting married. Um, the preacher <laughs> reminded me a lot of John Laurinaitis. But everything went off well, and everybody was happy and made up. So uh, that was pretty much it. One more thing about the wedding I thought was pretty funny was uh, <laughs> when Vincent shows up with Arion and Natalia sees him and it shows little videos of Natalia and Eva Marie and everybody just talking shit about Vincent. They really hate this guy. Like, all of them hate him. Um, and I was also wondering, where the hell was Bret Hart? Because if you go to Wikipedia, it has a list of the cameos and Bret Hart was on there. And I can't remember seeing him once this entire season. So that was kind of weird. And then John Cena asked Nikki Bella to move in with him. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't move in with her and get out of that shithole he's staying in in Florida. But she says, I usually have one rule. I won't move in with anyone unless I'm engaged. She doesn't tell that to him. But that's what she tells the camera. And I guess that rule doesn't apply to John Cena because she says yes. Um, so that was pretty much it. And now they're showing some previews for the second season, which hopefully is probably too late because the second season has already been taped. But hopefully by the third season, JoJo is just gone. All right, I just finished the Total Divas After Party. It was really just a recap of the season and a preview for the second season. They brought out Jarrett to try and cause some drama. Uh, that guy looks just like a flying monkey from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> That's exactly what he looks like. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. So that's my review of the last episode of this season, or the mid-season. I'm not sure what this is, but uh, the show will return in November. So I hope you guys like this video. Leave your thoughts on this episode in the comments, and thanks for watching.